it's Tuesday, June 16th. I have birds, sunshine, gorgeous day again. I'm going to start feeling guilty telling you how gorgeous my days are and some of you are having rainy days and cold days and things like that. <laughs> but my days are gorgeous. I am glorying in them while I have them. Coffee. First sip of coffee. You get to see me have my first sip of coffee. I slept very poorly last night. It's my own fault. I ate too much yesterday and I had snack at 10 o'clock, which I cannot do. First of all, it's not good for you to eat at 10 o'clock, even though I ended up going to bed at two o'clock, but that's another story. And I have slow motility, which means that even at two o'clock when I went to sleep or bed, you know, I still had a full tummy. Anyway, I don't feel great. My tummy doesn't feel great still this morning. It's a good day to fast. It feels like a fast will solve that. So that works out. Anyway. I hope I've learned my lesson because I can't eat that late. Girls are with me today. You can hear Pearl, and there's Maisie Daisy. Hey, pup, say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Did you get? Did you leave the bedroom and the deserted Dennis? Yes. Yes. There you are. See, you're on. You're on camera. And there's Pearl. 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 Come here. Come here. Say hi. Nope. No. Maze, get your foot off me. Pearl. Ugh. Sorry, guys. There she is. Pearl. Hmm. No? She's guarding me. Something's going on. Anyway, now that I've gotten you completely dizzy, sorry about that. My girls are here. <sighs> so anyway, I think having no food and some tea will settle my stomach. And so that will be a good thing. I also forgot to take my allergy pill. So I have a little sinusy thing going on. I'm like, wow, I haven't been sick the whole time I've been doing these. Because, you know, I wear a mask everywhere. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Nobody comes over. So, anyway, I feel far away. I'm going to move my chair. Oh, well, these chairs aren't easy to move, which is why I usually don't. There we go. I think Pearl went in the house to bark. And now Maisie's following her. Oh well, anyway. Trash truck's here. I feel okay. I don't want you to think I'm sick or anything. I'm not. I'm just like, I didn't sleep and I don't, you know, my tummy's a little gurgly. No, not, nothing, nothing real going on here. So I had a nice visit with my mother-in-law. She had a good visit with the doctor who says she doesn't have to come back unless she continues to have problems, which she hasn't had in a couple days, so that's good. And uh, she was glad to get out of the house and have someone to talk to besides Garland. Dennis is going grocery shopping today and he'll be picking up a cake for Garland's birthday. We're going over and one friend is going to come and hang on the deck a little for a little while to celebrate the birthday, but it's going to be very low key. He's afraid people will call him on the phone to wish him happy birthday and he doesn't want to talk on the phone. Oh well. 103. Seems to be losing energy, you know. I mean, he beat us at cards the last time, but he's forgetting things and, and uh, you know. Talking, feeling like talking to a lot of people on the phone feels like a big task for him and he's not looking forward to it. So, you know, maybe.
maybe someone else feels his phone call so just puts him on for a minute so that he can hear whoever it is say happy birthday to him and he can say thank you and then you know or, uh, or Dennis or me or somebody else can have the how are you what's going on with you conversation you know something like that anyway so that's what's happening this week so guess what I have soaking in my laundry room ready to be spun in my I'm not done with my envelope, but I have the whole main piece done and you have to block it before you sew it together and then you pick up some stitches and add an arm, a little bit of an arm. It's, I think it's kind of triangly and I'm not sure how it works. I have to, but yeah. So things are moving along very, very quickly. So I think maybe I'll do a podcast at the end of the week because I have lots of things to show and I'll have that to show too. I haven't, ta I talked, we, uh, I haven't announced the make along on the podcast, so I'll do that. There are people who watch the podcast who don't watch this. <laughs> I don't blame them. I'm beginning to wonder, you know. When does the time of Corona end and the Corona vlogs? <laughs> Although I enjoy doing them. I guess, I guess they'll end when I'm not in lockdown or I don't want to do them anymore or nobody's watching. You know, I guess that's when they'll end. But this is number like 87. So I'm Barbara, by the way. I hardly ever remember to mention that. And my um, entry, first entry, I'll say first entry into the Hug Around the Neck Make Along is the L'Envelope by Sally Melville. And I will link it below, Juanita asked to have it linked. I will link it below because it's a very cool pattern and it's actually a pretty quick knit. Um, well, I don't have it finished yet, but you know, and it's pretty cool. So I will link it below for those of you who aren't aren't finding it easily or don't have time to rummage. And I am wearing my letterpress cowl by Sarah Bauer, which I really like. I love this. It's a giant cable on the neck. It looks like a braid. I love that. But anyway, I made this out of a... Uh, you know, a mini set with one extra mini besides the set I had. And I don't remember who the set was. But anyway. But wearing it's almost like, I feel like it's wearing a necklace. But I, I wore this the other day. But it has a scoopy, a scoopy neck. And I get chilly on my neck. And I thought, oh, I'll wear my letterpress. And be lovely and nitty on the vlog so I will not be working on my envelope today because it needs to dry so I may be working on my cross stitch giraffe I might pick up my ochre sweater and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wind my pink yarn for my fable sweater do my fable and I think that's gonna be it for the summer sweaters I have quite a few summer sweaters and I don't know and I don't wear them every day now my winter sweaters, I can wear every day if I have an appropriate sweater for the event, which is most likely sitting around and maybe cleaning and maybe whatever. So I need, I absolutely must have need 
um, more winter sweaters. So I think this the Fable will be the last summer sweater that I make in this sweater rotation. For a while. I would I really want to have another cardigan. I have several cardigans that I wear around the house. I have my super bulky grandpa sweater from Hohi Locatelli that I wear that's kind of like a jacket and I wear that out and I wear that at home and I, I have the Washington Square which I only wear at home because it's way too big even though it's got the coolest buttons on it it's way too big I made that of out of Cascade Echo I wonder if I could like shrink it up a little the sleeves were always way too big this is this is one of the few slash maybe only sweaters that I knit in pieces. And uh, the sleeves are huge. But it's a great sweater for around the house. Except it's beige, you know. Around the house sweater needs to be something that doesn't show the dribbles, coffee dribbles and uh, whatever. But anyway. And then I have my Monte Rosa, which is my favorite cardigan. Wow. It's like a cardigan sweater. The, the super bulky grandpa sweater has turned into a little more almost like a jacket because it, it was felt slightly, slightly felted and shrunk and tightened up to, more, to a very sturdy fabric that it makes it almost like a jacket. And it fits me great now. So... And the Monte Rosa fits me great now. One of the problems I have, and, but I need to move the buttons on that one because it still gapes even though it now fits correctly. So I'm not sure, you know, I need to get my, I have a, I can't remember her name. The woman who does the how, fit to flatter books, I have a fit to flatter or how, I could knit, I can knit that. I think it's, I can knit that. I want to say her name is Amy something, but I, you know, it's not coming to me. Um, she has the um, custom fit pattern on Ravelry, so you can figure it out. But the book is, I can knit that. And it has all different um, styles of sweater and how to make them. And each style, she has two patterns. She has a kid's sweater pattern and an adult pattern. And I think I'm going to go and find a cardigan in that book and maybe I can do a better job of picking the right size and, and knitting a cardigan that when I button it up, it doesn't gape and, um, you know, get some tips from that. I have the book. Well, actually, I have a blueprint class. Blueprint is going out of business. And they promise that those of us who have bought classes will get, somehow get copies of our classes, but they haven't told us how that's going to happen yet. Um, and I have about 10 classes, half of which I haven't even watched yet. So maybe that should be my July project, because I think they're like gone at the end of July. That should be my July project. I tried to, um, when I first found out about this, I tried to use like a gaming software that records what's going on on your computer. It's used for people who want to record their gaming sessions and put them online or something. So I was trying to, re you know, play the classes and, you know, and try to put it on, on my computer, but it didn't work. So I'm hoping that they're true to their word and figure out how to give us these classes that I paid for. I didn't have, I didn't pay the subscription that people were paying, but I did um, buy some classes. And one of the classes is by her. And I wish I could remember her name. So maybe I will just watch that class. I paid for it. And at least let me watch it one time and download the, the, um, the class materials and things like that. I bought... I bought a brioche class that I haven't watched. I brought a, bought a color work class from Mucklestone. 
uh, the brioche classes, Nancy Merchant. You know, I bought some classes of things that I knew I was going to, and when they were having a sale, you know, you half price classes and stuff, because I knew I was going to be interested in them in the future, And I, but I haven't watched them yet. So I'm hoping they get their act together and figure out how to get us our classes. But, I mean, I could download them because I only have 10 or 12. And Dennis will rig up some kind of external hard drive or something where I could store them. But some people have a lot of classes, like hundreds. I think some people have hundreds of classes, and they're big. So you can't, you know, they must, they're going to have to come up with a way that they can, I don't even know, DVDs? I don't know. Or figure out a way to have a server so that they're available and a special login and password for people. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do, but they better figure it out. But meanwhile... Maybe all that maybe that'll be my corona project for the for for the second half of my corona you know is to watch my classes. I've watched some of them. I have a fixing mis fixing mistakes class. I have a finishing class. I have an uh Lucy Neatby class which was so good. I really learned a lot from her and uh, spinning class. Anyway, maybe that'll be my project. And I'll start with the Amy Herzog. Amy Herzog. I know you've been yelling at me. Amy Herzog. Amy, yeah, you're right. Amy Herzog. I'll start with her class to help me figure out how to measure myself in a way that will get me to the right size of a cardigan because that's going to be my next project after the Fable sweater that I'm going to make out of that pink cotton wool yarn that I got from the Crafty Toads. That's my plan. So today is going to be a little bit of a lazy day because I'm not feeling great, although I'm feeling better just sitting here and just having my coffee and talking to you <sighs> with my girls. There she is. She's calmed down now. And my birds and um, my beautiful weather. And just relax. And I can, I, I would need to get head, a headphone. But I can sit out here with my laptop plugged in. I have an outdoor plug. I can sit here and watch my videos outside while I'm cross-stitching on my giraffe or whatever. Maybe I'll even get a notebook and take some notes. I'll print out the, I'll print out the paperwork for the class and take some notes and be a little bit organized so that if somehow Blueprint doesn't get their act together and I don't get a copy of that class I will still have my notes there you go I hope it's not actually the second half of my corona shutdown because I am on day 86 7 87 <laughs> but it's a project and I do want to do brioche I'm not sure about the color work, <laughs> but I'll watch it. I'll watch it and learn some tricks and um, maybe start on a smaller project. I actually have a kit for color work mittens for like Norwegian style color work mittens. I have a kit with the Norwegian yarn, it's a navy blue and white. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll watch the Mary Jane Mucklestone. What's her name? Something Mary something Mucklestone. Anyway, I guess that's kind of a plan. And I'll get a I'll get a set up a rig out here so that I can um, sit out here because Dennis comes and sits too, and I'm sure he doesn't want to hear my lessons. Ta-da! 
So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to organize myself a little bit. I'm going to wind my pink yarn. I don't even know if I'll start it. I'm sure I printed off the fable, but let's see if I can find it. If I can't, I'm not going to stress about it. I'll print it off again. And uh, go from there. Yeah. So I didn't really enjoy knitting my um, envelope in the seed stitch. It's soaking now, but water is very pink. That red is, um, I do not recommend putting any light color next to that red if you're knitting a multicolored thing. <laughs> or set, be sure and set the color again, because the water is very pink. It doesn't matter for my long below, but just heads up. But I, I think that's true with any red yarn you buy or navy blue, that kind of thing, for sure. But I'm really enjoying it and I really like the way it's looking and I love the seed stitch. And and another sweater that I'm going to try to figure out if I have yarn for another winter sweater that I want is the Doverfell. I, I knit two Doverfells for the granddaughters and they're the they look like hoodies with sweatshirt pockets and as I put a zipper in them I got the adult version of that pattern and I don't think that pattern's available anymore people were looking for it when I was making it for the girls and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it either but I do have it already I got the adult version for myself too So that's on my list of things to knit in the near future. So, anyway, I'm going to go off and start my day. I finished my coffee. Now I finished my coffee. <laughs> and, um,. I'm going to go put my envelope in the washer to spin and then I will figure out what's next. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're feeling well and everyone is well in your family. And. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, so stay safe and stay sane.